Well, hello guys, how are you? It has been a long time since I've seen you. Um, I can't remember the last time I posted a video. It might've been in December. Might've been right around December time. Well, guess what? Pastor Amy is back. I've missed you guys. Um, I, and the cat's out the bag. I am definitely expecting my husband and I, we are on our third child. Yes. And um, <laughs> so my body has been just going through the changes. Thankfully, I'm good. I'm healthy. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, and so that's kind of where my little break came from. But guys, I'm feeling good. I'm in the second trimester. I'm ready to hop back at it and bring you up regular videos and updates and things of that nature. And so again, happy 2021. Now we are in the month of February and there is so much that I want to share with you. But I have just a little bit of time and I know you only probably have a little bit of time as well. So I'm gonna try to make this video short and sweet and right to the point. What I want to talk to you guys about today is I want to bring you the prophetic word for the month of February of 2021. The Lord spoke to me coming out of December that um, the year of 2021 would be the year of God's of great faith and even greater demonstration. So let me say that one more time that 2021 would be the year of great faith and even greater demonstration. And um, that has been the theme at our church at Salt Life. That's been the theme in my household, in my business, um, in my parenting, in my marriage, um, in every aspect. I mean, God is really challenging me to stretch my faith and to live in a place of greater faith um, more than I've ever walked in faith before. Um, and the reason being is because God has some amazing, mind-blowing, in, incredible things that he wants to do um, and demonstrate in um, my life, in our church's life, and in your life this year of 2021. But it's going to take great faith to see the demonstration, okay? So that's the, the, the theme for the year. But what is going on for the month of February? Well, the other night, um, I sat down with the Lord on February 2nd, and really it was probably February the 3rd, but it was February 2nd for me because I was still feeling like I was in the same day, but it was actually at 12.05 a.m. February 3rd. So it's kind of like the end of the day going into the early, early uh, morning of February 3rd. But um, I was waiting on the Lord and I was sitting at my altar and I had my notes out, I had my Bible, and I was just asking the Lord to speak to me. Um, and I did not expect for him to speak to me specifically about the month of February, um, but I just wanted him to speak. But what he did speak was a prophetic utterance for the month of February, and I would be remiss if I did not share it with you guys, because when I tell you this word, the testimony um, was absolutely incredible, and I wanna share the testimony with you, okay? So um, this is what the Lord said, I'm gonna read it verbatim, okay? I have it right here in my notebook. <laughs> the Lord said, February is a month of birthing. A, it is a foundational month for the year of 2021 for you. Many things that you had been incubating over the last several months is now ready to spring forth. So make way. The waters are breaking. New life is springing forth. And it will bring such sweetness like nectar and honey. Many who have been infertile or suffered stillbirths, and this is spiritually or figuratively or naturally. The Lord says, for many who suffered infertility or stillbirths will this time see the full manifestation of healthy vision coming to pass. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Shall you not perceive it? I will make a way out of the wilderness and rivers flow through desert places. He says, I prophesy your way is being made. Tell my people, go. <laughs> the way is made. The path of deliverance is set before you. Do not be alarmed for I am with you. Do not be afraid, but be bold and courageous. Have faith in God. He will demonstrate his mighty power this month. So raise your expectation. The Lord says, 
raise your voice with cheer. Hooray for victory and vindication is here. Do not miss it by being skeptical. Believe what the prophets say. February will be a month of no more delay. So go, the rain is coming, and surely the ground will be wet with fresh water. Water for your seed, water for your soil. Your harvest is getting ready to spring forth. That's the word for February, okay? This is a month that is going to literally pivot your entire year. And what I mean by pivot, pivot means to change direction. This is a change of direction month for the body of Christ. If you're in Christ Jesus and you can receive this prophetic word, I really want you, the Lord wants you to really have an expectation for, um, for breakthrough, for um, things that have been delayed to be released. It is going to set you up for the demonstration that God is going to do even further into the year. So I had my own little testimony. Um, when I was, when I was receiving this word from the Lord, I was in a place of waiting on God. Literally, I was looking at my bank account and I was like, Lord, this ain't holy. <laughs> I'm a sower. I'm a giver. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm living my life right before you. Um, I know that my bank account is lying to me. Okay. That's what I told guys. I, I know my bank account is lying. And it was like, I had just gotten paid and it was like, so many things had to come out. And I'm looking around, I'm like, Lord, all my money's gone already. And I literally went to bed with a very little amount of money in my bank account. And it was funny because during this moment, I found myself saying, hey, I can call this person or I can maneuver this money over there and see if, you know, someone will loan me something to hold me over. And I had to remember great faith. I said, you know what? No, if I go and make a phone call to bail myself out, to just have an extra cushion, that's really what it was. My bills were paid, but I wanted a cushion, right? Um, then that wouldn't have been faith because I was going to make my own way. I was going to get somebody naturally to, to help me out. And so I said, no, I'm going to stick this out because God wants me to operate in great faith this year. I'm a sower. I'm a covenant believer. I have, I'm standing on my confession that I'm in overflow, that I have abundance. And um, of course there had been some delays. There had been some things that were, that had belonged to me that been, had been being held up. And I didn't know when it was going to release, but I said, I know my portion and this ain't my portion. I was speaking over my account, speaking over my wallet. And, um, I had to just move in faith. And I kid you not guys, because of my obedience to really live by faith. And I sat down that night, 12.05 AM, February 2nd, and God speaks this to me. I went to bed trusting God because I had received the word, but I didn't see it in the natural. I went to bed literally with little money in my bank account. Literally guys, after this word came, the next morning, as I waved my kids off to school and they went to be dropped off to school by my husband, literally something said, check your, check your bank account. I checked my bank account at like 8.45 in the morning, literally from literally a few dollars left in my bank account the previous night, I woke up and there was literally $2,400 magically appeared in my bank account. That is the, le let me tell you something. And I normally don't share numbers like that. Um, I, I'm typically really private, but this year I'm living by great faith. So I got to share when God demonstrates so you can see what I'm saying. Guys, I went to bed with very little money in my account. There was other things I still wanted to do, some other things I needed to do. And I knew I didn't get paid again until another week. Okay. <laughs> but I took this word. The Lord said that, he told me the night before, he said, raise your expectation, hooray and shout with cheer for your deliverance and your vindication is here. And he prophesied, he said, go forth. He said, the rain is coming. He said, uh, and surely the ground will be wet with rain. He says, 
in his prophecy to me the night before he says there there will be such sweetness like nectar and honey that's coming to you and he said this time you will see full manifestation of healthy vision coming to pass he said i prophesy he said surely he said to me surely uh um you know there's going to be a full manifestation of healthy vision coming to pass. He shared that he prophesied that the way was being made and that not and, and not to be alarmed. He said it. He said, because I'm going to demonstrate my mighty power this month. The exciting part is this, is that it's still not over. God is still manifesting. He's still sending more. And I want you guys to raise your expectation that, listen, don't try to manufacture your own miracle. When you live by faith, trust God. Don't try to go make something happen yourself. Regardless of what it looks like right now in the natural, remember that God is working behind the scenes in the spiritual. And if you can receive this word from the prophets, I promise you that you shall prosper. So guys, my February is off to a great month. And it's so exciting that the Lord's words have come to pass so quickly because literally I went to bed with literally a few a few books in my account to literally not even 24 hours later, maybe 10 hours later, I wake up and there's $2,400 in my account. <laughs> That's, I, I, I want you guys to have that kind of expectation for God to do those kind of turnarounds in your life quickly in this month. And there's more to come. So I love you guys. Please share this video, subscribe to this channel. And let people know Pastor Emmy's back. I love you guys. Have a wonderful February. Bye.